Mike, Red Fox. Mining software for Dynex got a big update, which increases hash rate on NVIDIA GPUs. Let's check it out and see if mining's worth it yet. One zero miner got an update from one two three to now version one two four, and you can see right here, the developer says there's a hash rate and efficiency improvement. And this mining software is only for NVIDIA GPUs, so I put it to the test, and ultimately going to figure out if it's worth having these GPUs mine if I'm actually making any profit or not. So did a bunch of testing. We'll also see the hash rate improvements and what GPUs benefited the most. So here's my rig this is my test rig i'll leave a link up to my previous video on uh testing dynex from just a little bit ago but you can see all the cards in that rig all the 30 series that i have here you can also see the hash rates kilohash that all those cards are currently mining and then the uh wattage that they're pulling and if you need any help with overclocks or any of that stuff please reference my previous video uh, where i go over all of that in great detail and if you're curious, because some people like to see this, here is the actual mining software running right now. I've been mining for a half hour. Uh, and I didn't change any of the overclocks or any of that stuff at all. I just wanted to take the baseline of what I had before, not change anything, and now get a new baseline so I could really take a look at what the improvements are uh, on all these GPUs. And so I did all that testing, and you can see here, in the top section is all of the new results with the latest one zero miner. So if you do need any help with overclocks or any of that stuff, you can pause here, copy all this stuff in. Uh, and if you want to understand the why, what's happening behind the scenes on all this, again, reference my previous video. And on the bottom section here, that is uh, the previous results. So if you have a keen eye and you're looking at that efficiency column, you can already see some monumental improvements on all of these GPUs in terms of not only hash rate, but efficiency. Most of the wattage has stayed around the same, uh, and on some cards it's even dropped pretty low compared to what it was doing before. So either the same wattage increased hash rate or lower wattage and increased hash rate, which is all an absolutely just wonderful thing. Let's take a look at those results. I'm gonna pull up some charts here and we'll take a look together. So. Look, what you're looking at here in this chart is uh, in the top, in the lighter blue, is the original hash rate from the previous version of the miner. And on the bottom, in the darker color blue, is the updated hash rate with 10 miner 124. So just gives you a nice visualization of what those improvements are per GPU. And then we're going to take a look at what that actual percent increase has been. So looking at that, what I was curious about right away is what GPU is going to absolutely respond the best and have the best performance increase. And I honestly did not expect it to be the 3090 Ti coming up with a 28% performance boost on this latest version of 1.0 Miner. And then taking a look just behind that, uh, we have the 3080 Ti doing exceptionally well, the 3070 Ti doing exceptionally well. So really those, those like Ti versions of the cards had quite a boost, but even what is the most efficient cards on this, at least before, was the 3070 and A4000 still got a 19% boost. So that brings me back to uh, looking at the hash rate charts that I have here where I have that efficiency listed and you can see the A4000 is still the most efficient GPU uh, but now right behind that is the 3090 Ti whereas before was the 3070 and 3060 Ti. So now the big question is okay let's take that most efficient GPU and take a residential electric rate right now and see if it's profitable at all. Well, so we're going to go over to what's in mind here. I have Dynex coin up, and let's take those results in. We've got to input them in here. So I'm going to go back, and that most efficient GPU is the A4000, 4.19 kilohash at 80 watts. So let's go ahead and enter that in here. 4.19 kilohash over at 80 watts. We'll put in a 13 cent uh, electric rate. I'm going to click this ad for some reason. We're going to go back, and the fees, the pool fee, 
uh, is 0.9 at the pool that I'm mining at, and then the, the mining software fee is currently 3%, so we'll put in 3.9%, and we're gonna just do the current value to get the most updated information here, and let's see if it's profitable to mine with the most efficient card, and no.